Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install PostgreSQL 16 on Kali Linux 2024. In older versions of Kali Linux, we have to install PostgreSQL manually. But from the Kali Linux 2024 onwards, no need to install comes by default. So let us verify sudo systemctl status PostgreSQL zip. PostgreSQL RDBMS is installed but it is not started on it is disabled. So first we are going to start it. So command is sudo systemctl start postgres equal. It is started again verify sudo systemctl status postgres equal. See it is started. Okay. And we have to enable the service. Q to fit. Control L to play screen sudo systemctl enable postgresql it is success let us connect to postgresql sudo su hyphen postgres esql postgresql server version is 16 let us verify the version select version then curly see we have the postgresql 16 also verify the list of the databases comes with PostgreSQL on Kali Linux 20.04 slash L. See, these are the three databases comes with PostgreSQL. So, clear the screen by pressing Control from Control L from your keyboard. Let me verify the list of the users. See, we have only one user that is SOAP user. So, the first step after connecting or starting the PostgreSQL service, we have to set the password for SOAP user that is Postgre alter user Postgres with password give any password we have successfully set the password so first i am going to create the user it is not recommended to use the postgres user so i am going to create user create user uh, to admin with password give the password whatever you like let us verify see we have two users but this user has all the privileges okay so i am going to create the new database create database after schools with owner i am giving owner as admin put semicolon slash l c we have the new database and owner is r2 admin to fit. Suppose if you want to create table in this new database, first we have to switch to that new database by using forward slash c. C means connect. We can use c or connect. Then after schools database name. Both are same. Okay. To verify list of the tables in this database, we have to use forward slash dt. C. We don't have any relations. Relations are nothing but the tables. Okay. Let me create a table in this database. In this database okay <coughs> create table let me take table name as student s number int s name where cap and then we have created a table now verify see we have the table if you want to verify the structure or the table structure you the forward slash d plus then table name table name is student See, we have created a table. This is the column name. This is the data type, and these are the collection information. Okay, Q to fit. Let me insert some data into this table. Before that, verify the data in this table. See, we don't have any data. So let me insert some data into student. Values again insert one more row let me verify the data this type of see we have inserted two rows okay if you want to fit from this process square 
give the forward slash q then if you want to quit from this postgres user you have to give exit now we are in non postgres user so if you want to restart the postgres sql server sudo systemctl restart postgres sql okay let me verify the status status see we have restarted eight seconds ago if you took it suppose if you want to find the configuration files information configuration and files location then connect to postgres sudo postgres psql config underscore file is the postgres equal server configuration file see this is the file see postgres equal dot conf is the configuration file and if you want to find the host based authentication file so use the so hba underscore file see this is the host based authentication file where here we have to mention the connection settings okay we can also connect host sql by using ip first verify ip of this machine see this is the ip let me copy this one let me open PC admin. Click on add new server or click on servers, then right click, then click on register, then server. Then Postgres equal on Kali Linux. 2024 then go to connection tab here we have to provide the ip or the host name okay now main state of is postgres username postgres then provide the password click on save here see if you receive this error go to cmd ip config see this is my ip okay here it is Okay, 192, 168, 128. Okay, go to Postgres SQL, Kali Linux server. Sudo. Go to this file, copy the entire file name with path. Q to get VI right click paste the clipboard go to the bottom here we have to give like hostname database name username at the method okay so go to the bottom of the this file shift A and hit enter host then database name give all all Type the IP manually 192.168.129.1 then 32 then connection method md5 which means password we have to do. save the file escape and colon wq exclamation and hit enter then connect to it then reload the configuration file pg underscore reload underscore con put semicolon success okay now go to the pg admin then click on save it won't work so we have to ping 192.168.129.1 okay one more setting that we have to check that is go to here show config underscore file copy the file with the path it VA paste it search for listen hit enter remove the comment replace localhost with star i2 insert star save the file hit enter see after modifying this one we have to restart the service exit sudo system ctl 
restart first is equal hit enter it is success now go to the pg admin click on save this time see we have successfully connected let me expand let me expand see we have the database r2 scores also we have created r2 user r2 admin user see we have created the r2 admin user so we have successfully connected first is equal which is installed on Kali Linux from the Windows 11 environment. So in this video we have seen how to start PostgreSQL service then how to connect to it and how to create databases and how to find the important files information files location information. For more PostgreSQL or Kali Linux videos please subscribe my channel. Thank you.